Hi, my name is Jeremy Majors. I'm the service maintenance and metering supervisor here at Jones Onslow. Here we have one of our new Landis and Gear Gridstream AMI meters. As you'll notice, the main display scrolls across five different functions every three seconds. First function on the display is segment check. This tests that all LCD segments are working properly. Second function is KWH. This number is the total kilowatt hour usage that has accumulated since the installation of the meter. This meter is reading 490 kilowatt hours. Third is KW. KW is also referred to as maximum demand. Kilowatts represent the maximum power recorded in a given 15 minute interval. At this time, it is mainly used for commercial accounts. As you can see, this meter is reading 5.764 KW. Fourth is CLS or OPN. If the meter is equipped with a service disconnect switch, this display function will show either a CLS for the closed position of the switch or OPN for the open position of the switch. Fifth is GSS. This stands for Grid Stream System Health. There should be a digit from zero to nine on the end of the dashes, which show how well the meter can communicate with our grid stream AMI system. You'll also notice along the bottom side of the main display, the disc emulator. This is a digital representation of a mechanical disc that is spinning. There will be a series of dashes, then an arrow to depict which way the current is flowing through the meter. This will always be moving to the right unless you have been set up with some form of energy generation, such as a solar interconnection agreement. The last thing on the display is a service voltage notification. On a residential meter, this will normally read 240, but can also read 120 on certain applications. I hope I've answered any questions you may have had about your new meter and the functions on the display. If you have any remaining questions, please feel free to contact us.